Hello, I'm Pedro Arenas and this is Ask a Teen, a talk show created to shrink the generation gap, let teenagers break stereotypes, share their opinions on serious and, well, not so serious topics, and give you a hint to who this new generation of kids are. We're living in times of advanced technologies and our lives have changed dramatically in many ways. From communication, dating, workshop, leisure, dating, dating, shopping, dating, education, and other ways you can name. So as technologies develop further, and it's us to have to adjust to these new rules of society. Today we have some teenagers to tell us more about their technologies and how they affect their everyday lives and we would love to learn more about their expectations of the future tech developments. Guys, welcome to the show. Please introduce yourselves. Oh, so my name is Yash. Hey Yash. I'm, I'm 14 and I'm from Tokyo and I'm just visiting here and cool. I'm very happy to be on the show. Cool. So we've got you a little while. And my name is Kate. I'm 17. I'm from Santa Clara and I'm also super excited to be here. Cool. I'm Ori. Hey, I'm Ori. 16. Uh, this is my third time being on the show, so I'm glad to be back again for a third time. Good to have you guys back. Good to have you back, Ori. Question for you guys. Um, is technology uh, affecting your everyday life? Yes. For a sure. Lot. Definitely. Let's hear it. How so? So it affects my life a lot because like, technology is like everywhere Like when we are traveling, like entertainment, education. So I think technology is used in my every most of my aspects of my life, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I actually highly agree with you. Like literally I use technology every day, like every minute for school, for my leisure time, and even like with my friends and my brother. Really? Yeah. I mean, guess what I have in my pocket? I mean it's a cell phone and I use that on a daily basis. Can you name one bit of can you name like one aspect of your life that maybe has not been so influenced by tech? Probably like my reading time. Really? So when I read a book, I don't use technology that Ooh, time. Ooh, analog. Yeah. Analog reading. Yeah. Nice. For me, I think it's probably a dinner time with my family. Okay. Because my parents are super strict about phones at the table. So yeah. Okay. I mean, I try to hang out with friends without my cell phone and like I try to encourage my like my friends to like not use their phones and we're like having like a conversation and like trying to like, you know, build relationships and like put the like technology aside because we like have access to that any time of day. Yeah, nice. I don't do that. Yeah, I, it's, it's, it's a goal <laughs> that I'm trying to like. I take achieve. my phone out almost but instantly. It's it, I'm not proud of it. I'm not bragging about it. I'm just like. I, just do it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it does it is a habit that's hard to break. So. I mean, sometimes I like I'll, I'll play like a video game with my friends. Like, hey guys, I got I got this new game. Who wants to play? Yeah. You know? Like words with friends. Ooh, I've, yeah, it makes sense. It's I don't know. Is that is that a thing still? Uh, words with friends still a not thing? as much with like like teenagers, but I yeah. know people that play words with friends. It's just so. scrap. Or That's Scrabble or any like word game. Like word games are still popular. It's just, all right guys, I'm gonna give you guys a hypothetical real fast, all right. So the hypothetical is um, you meet a scientist, all right. You, you become good friends with the scientist, all right. Scientist is like, hey, hey, I want you to test a new device, all right. So you fall into a parking lot, okay, late at night, all right. He takes off the coverage of the device. It's a time machine, okay. He gets killed. You hop into the time machine and you go back to the 1920s, all right. What bit of technology do you bring back with you? I bring like the floppy disk. A floppy disk? <laughs> Very specific. <laughs> do you have a fl what? <laughs> what? I Why? mean, I would like, I've heard like many old people like the floppy disk is very interesting and like kids should know about it. So I would try it, I guess. Yeah. The floppy disk. The in the 1920s? Yeah. Um, or like the old telephone? Right. Okay. Like with that. The rotary phone? Yeah. I think the 1920s might have a rotary phone. Yeah. Um, I think. So I would bring a television. I thought a lot about this a little okay. bit. Because here's the thing, they like the television was like being introduced around the 1920s, yeah. but they didn't know what to expect of TV and it was like a relatively new concept. So like showing them what a TV looks like now is like giving them motivation to hopefully innovate yeah. and progress and like see the value of having a television system because clearly it's become like a thing of the modern era. Yeah, it's changed. It changed the world. I would definitely yeah. Like bring a laptop because I think laptop is just so useful in nowadays life and like even back in 1920s, life would be so much easier with laptop. 
Yeah. Like you, you, you don't even like need to go to the library. Like why? Just laptop. I'm glad you brought that up. We're gonna talk about <laughs> libraries in a second. Oh no. But <laughs> <laughs> later, later on the show. No spoilers. All right, guys. Well, actually, no, yeah. Actually, that 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 fits perfectly. Actually, um, uh, since computers and uh, the internet have transformed education, um, do you guys find yourself still um, uh, still going to the library in order to kind of study? Yeah, I go to the library like every day. Really? Yeah, for, like for two hours to study. What do you study? Math, science. Because I get like summer homework in Tokyo. Okay. Yeah, and then you have to do all of it. Like, or you get like detention. Do they, they give you detention over like the summer? No, if you don't do your homework after you come to school, like you get detention. Oh, okay. If you didn't finish it. Do you, how do they, what's detention in Tokyo? Like, you sit in a room and then like the teacher make, makes you write like this sentence like 100 times or something. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's like, it's like detention over here. Yeah. That's, up, that's upsetting. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like, you got to carry buckets up this hill. All right, keep going, buddy. Or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Never mind. Anyways, what about you guys? Uh, the only time I think I go to the library is when it is super hot outside. And in the library, it's basically they have such a strong AC and it's super nice. Yeah. So yeah, I just like chill out there with my friends. No I don't read books. I mean, like books, is, uh, I like e-books. They're just so, so like, way convenient and it's way easier to read and like bring it home. I mean, I have a school library, so I went to the library today. Just, it's like a nice place to kind of like chillax, have a nice quiet space, and maybe socialize quietly with friends. Yeah. So yeah, I think I'm not like the library's not going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah, but so you ba you guys are basically um, so what I'm hearing other than other than Yash, who is a uh, <laughs> a plus student, you guys are basically just going there just to kind of hang out, with kids, hang yeah. out with friends, and maybe and like do some studying too. Yeah. Cool, but a little bit depends on the day. Uh, what are some uh, so what are some cool uh, cool technologies that are sort of infiltrating your school, like things that you guys didn't have? Oh, before? in my old school, they used to like like use iPads to play fun and interactive games. Okay. And we sometimes also use like the computer, like for PowerPoints, like for science. Yeah. Yeah. Has VR entered yet? No. No. Augmented reality. Do you guys uh, know augmented kinda, reality? Yeah. I'll tell you right now, it's like Pokemon Go. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 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 Exactly like that. Bring up your phone, see a little Pokemon. But except it's not that though. <laughs> it's like maybe like a like a geometry square. Yeah. It's gonna catch on. You guys are gonna. It's gonna blow you guys away eventually. Uh, um, are computers and smartphones necessary to study with? I, I would say yes. Yes, we really. Definitely. Are computers like necessary? What computers, computers and smartphones? Do you guys still use that to study or? Um, I think computers are necessary. I wouldn't say smartphones necessarily. I think they're helpful, but like I wouldn't use a smartphone to study. Yeah, I use my computer more to study. I think yeah, a smartphone is like limited in that aspect. It's yeah. hard to pull yeah. things up. What hard. if they're just getting like a smartphone is like getting bigger though? I remember like I still look at my smartphone and go like it's like a tablet, right? Yeah, but even then it just still is it's not quite there yet where yeah. it can get to the point where it can become the ultimate study like tool. Like the yeah. computer is better at like that. Yeah. Aspect of study. I mean, it's like, but like, like a. We still call it a smartphone, but it's not. A, it's not a phone anymore, right? It's like the last <laughs> thing you do on it now. Yeah. It's like, like we just like we just surf the web and like. You do everything but call. Almost all the internet actually. It's I like think I saw like a meme now. or something yeah. or like a, a sh like a like a picture that said like oh like people would be like okay with like the deleting of like the uh, the phone app like, or like a commercial or something like like an iPhone but without the phone app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. probably. I think I don't know. I don't make a lot of calls nowadays. But every once in a while, emergencies. Um, what, how, how do you guys feel about online education? Are you guys doing that now? Is that like has that changed your high school experiences? I don't know. No, I've never done online education. Really? Same yeah. Way. So education is still like show up to the class, show up. Yeah. On time. Mm, not necessarily. I think at least in my school, it's become a little bit more online based. Like we're still like there's still lectures, but like a lot of it's like go on your own and learn some of this part online, and then the other parts like go to like class and listen to someone talk about something. And I think they're both effective in their own ways. Hmm. Okay. It depends sense. on the person and their learning like learning styles. Um, I'm gonna ask um, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you this real fast. Um, you guys use fitness apps? No. No? no? Okay, moving on. Next one. <laughs> I think uh, we're running out of time right now guys, so I'm gonna move on to some uh, rapid fire questions. Um, question number one. What was the what was the last uh, wild animal you guys spotted not in the zoo? Squirrel at the parking lot. Squirrel in the parking yeah. lot. A rabbit in a garden. <laughs> I like this. We're, we're also saying the location. <laughs> I think it's probably a squirrel. I don't remember. But, but where? <laughs> like in my backyard. Perfect. I love it. 
Uh, what's your favorite workout? I'll tell you my favorite workout. My favorite workout is to lift a giant tire, tire and like flip it and just maybe and hit it with a hammer sometimes. <laughs> my favorite workout is like Zumba dancing really? on my Xbox. I like that. Yeah. Um, it's not my favorite, but I'm forced to carry all my huge textbooks every day to school. Like, <laughs> it, like yesterday I had three textbooks and each of them was like 500 like pages. I was dying by the end of the day. You know what, actually, if you look at it like a workout, it's like, it, doesn't it become kind of satisfying? You're like, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying now, so. What do you I mean, for me, I think just like running or like and doing like a lap, sometimes like gives me energy to like continue throughout the day. Five okay. times. Okay. Uh, what cartoon can make you cry? For me, it is Steven Universe or Wreck-It Ralph. I'm the Lion King. I just watched it like maybe two weeks ago. I was crying so hard. Really? It's such a sad movie. No cartoon can make me cry. Really? Aww. No cartoon can make yeah. you cry. Ooh. What, what's your favorite cartoon? I mean, I used to, my favorite cartoon before like SpongeBob. Oh yeah, that's not I gonna do it. I love SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, that's not gonna make anyone cry. Definitely animated films, but I wouldn't say cartoons. Yeah, like Spirited Away. It's very sad. Mm, yeah. It's bittersweet. Coco. Coco. <laughs> <laughs> Very sad movie. Coco is a beautiful movie. I love that movie. Um, we're doing a plug for uh, Coco right now. If you guys haven't seen Coco, please go watch it. Go to your theaters, please. Yeah. It's, it's not theaters. It's on DVD. Go to DVD. <laughs> no one watches that either. Streaming service. Streaming service. Go to Google. Google, uh, Google Play or whatever. Um, all right. Uh, let me see. Uh, what, uh, what can you stand better? Extremely hot weather or extremely cold weather? Extremely, extremely cold. cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Extremely oh. hot, only because you have air conditioning and fans, and like it makes it a little bit more possible. Like if it was extremely cold, yeah. you need to like be in like so many layers that you can't even like like feel yourself like at all. And like yeah, I like wearing sweaters. So. I like sweater weather. I like going like I like it too, but like I wouldn't want to be in like if I had to choose between that situation. I feel like say. an instructor. I'm like look at my sweater. Yeah, you know I know something. Yeah, but extremely sweater. cold weather is like the worst. Like, I mean, like you in, literally in can't like you have to unless you can be like stuck at home all day. Then you're basically screwed. Yeah, sure. What about I you? I mean, in extreme cold weather, like we have heaters, so we can just use that. Yeah. Well, that's the same argument. We have <laughs> AC, air conditioning, fans. It's all preference. Um, three things you like about yourself. I don't like anything about myself. That's not true. Don't you say <laughs> that, Josh? I'm gonna tell you something right now. I like about myself. Uh, I like uh, I like my beard. I like my eyebrows, and I like my mustache. It's all my face hair. <laughs> what about you guys? I would say being on the show, being still young, and having a lot of time. That's, you know what? That makes me really jealous. <laughs> I'm I don't so like sorry. that you talked about... Age. I'm going to be dead pretty soon, guys. Gonna, I forgot to say it. Um, I'm dying slowly. All right, I'm sorry. Go for it. I mean, for me, like, I'm just going to look at like, the outsider perspective of what people like about me instead of what I like about myself. Curly hair, uh, brown eyes, and a big smile on my face all the Perfect. time. You know I think what? I have I think... like one thing I like about myself. Oh, we'll say it one time, real fast. We're wrapping up. I like to live in Tokyo. You know what? I lost. You know what? I'm also jealous of that too. <laughs> I don't like that either. All right. Um, thank you so much, guys, for joining us. This is, uh, was Ask a Teen. Hopefully, you guys found this very informative. Um, if you guys want to be a guest on the show or have a question for the teens, please uh, email us at. Um, it's askateenshow at gmail.com. Once again, that's askateenshow at gmail.com. Thank you so much.